What's going on guys, ZFreezone here and today we're going to have a look at that Grave Matters new Conan Exiles event. I thought I'll just cover it for the people who are sitting on my server and also everyone else on that YouTube channel that I am growing. So you can see that we have the new armor here which looks pretty good. It is very well in the cold so if we come over here you can see we got more cold protection than anything which is a bit odd because it does talk about when you jump onto this guy's information against the sheer and heat of the volcano where they make their home so it's quite interesting because in the volcano you actually overheat a little bit so if you're sticking around with the Conan Exiles for long enough you know that the, the armors have been a bit weird like the ones that look like they're ready for the heat have been ready for the cold so once again, Conan Exiles Funcom has not disappointed. They've kind of like done the opposite to what they've said, which is really interesting, but it is survival gear at the same time as well. If we jump into here, you can see we got a bonus survival, and I believe that's on them all. There you go, and I'm running 431 with nearly one agility. So that's the armor ranking anyway, so that is a, that guy. Now we can also get some placeables from this event as well. And you can see why I'm moving this round. It's like the dust, I guess, on top of the thing is moving with it. Now I'm not too sure if that's supposed to be like that or that's just a glitch. I'm not too sure what's going on there. It's like the dust texture pack or whatever they're using is moving around with it. But when you place it, it doesn't move. As you move around, it doesn't move. So... Yeah, I'm not too sure on that one. Uh, it doesn't seem to go with the ground coverage either. And the sky is pretty clear at the moment, so it's not going with that. So I'm not too sure what it's going with. Um, but it looks like you can match up the pattern if you place it on top. So it's a bit odd there. But there's a table. And here's a little table. It does the same thing. Can't explain why, but it does. <laughs> and then we got this bookshelf looking thing. Same thing again. Bit interesting there. And a cauldron. So you can see the actual cauldron has got something moving on top of it too. It's very hard to see. But it looks like eyeballs. And you can see that texture on the top moving around too. Now I don't know what's going on here with these textures. But hey, it's good to have new stuff. I'm going to... Just place this guy down there. That is a close look at those eyeballs. And um, that is absolutely gross. Nice morning soup, I guess. I like that one that's half underwater. That is pretty cool. But that is the armor and the structures. Now, where do you get these guys from? I'm going to run over to one of these events. Now, to see these events, you can see them on the map by this little red star marker over here. This is one of them. There is multiple different places that you can spawn on this one. So, it's usually just have a look at the map and you can see these. It would be pretty good for PvP because it's going to bring everyone together and you can actually fight out for these things. So, that's going to be really good. Now, the aim of the game on this is to destroy the totems. So, once the totems are destroyed, you can get access to this guy in the middle. Now at the moment I do have cloak on so these guys are not going to be attacking me. But you can see they're spawning in and they will attack you and what you have to do is come up to here and break this guy. Doesn't take too many hits and the thing is down but if you want to speed up the process grab out your brain, grab some explosive arrows Finish all these totems off nice and easy. This guy will open up and then you can take down this guy and also you don't have to worry about taking down the rest of them because once this guy dies everything is done and you can get your box. So we'll just take this guy out with some big hits there. That will do it. That's the uh, three shorts and the long one and you see the little sword do a little spark and then you know it's like double damage and a bit more it's actually really good so when you kill the guy in the middle uh, you can grab what he's got on him 
So it's not really much anyway. It's nothing new. But in this box is going to give you the new loot. So there we go. We've got some shoes, which is nice. And I picked up a helmet just before as well. So that is those guys. Let's make sure. Yeah, that's just a normal, a normal one there. So that's not what we're looking for here. But yeah, so that's what you do. You just bash them up, open up the box, and, and then you've got your stuff. Enjoy that. Nope. But yeah, that is it. And that's the fastest way I've seen how to do it. Is just use the explosive arrows to blow those totems up and keep going. Now the grind is real. Like to get the actual building materials, it's a bit harder than just to get the armor. But they do drop, so just keep hammering it out and you should be able to get it out pretty fast. Uh, there's no recipes for these as well so you can't repair them. It's pretty much going to be the legendary repair kits for the armor. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it. And this is going to like January 10th or something next year so you got a bit of time to collect them up on your single player or something like that just to have a storage of those boxes. Now, also, you can jump on your favorite server at the moment. We are running a server called HyperX, so if you want to jump on that one, you can do. And collect the armor and the building pieces and just sit them there on the server. That server's going nowhere anytime soon, so you should jump on it and do some collecting. But other than that, that is pretty much it, and we're pretty much done. That is, like, all the content that that event brings to you. Now, it does spawn all over the map. I've seen them outside the summoning place, and I've seen them up here as well. But I know they do spawn in multiple different locations, so just keep an eye out for that red marker, and you should be absolutely fine. You should be able to get all your stuff that you need. But other than that, I'm ZFreezo, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, if you want to see any of these builds that were featured in the background, make sure you check out my channel. This is a map room series that we're working on. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you.